What's up, Capstone family? How you doing? This is Ed with Capstone Realty. Uh, just getting at you on this Friday, the 18th of March. I hope you're having an amazing day, getting ready for a weekend here. Um, we are uh, experiencing up north in our happy place. Uh, I know a lot of you have, have talked about Airbnb stuff, and this is our jam. I get up here and end up doing a lot more work than I expect to. Because, you know, me being in management, I got to get out here and sometimes get my hands dirty and get my knuckles a little dusty. But cool, everything is looking good up here. Um, uh, excited. This has been spring break for the kids. So uh, happy to get them uh, out of the Phoenix area and uh, exploring uh, northern Arizona and all the beauty it has to offer, which has just been amazing. Um, but uh, interestingly, I had a couple of really cool conversations this week. Uh, that tie into uh, what's going on in the market. A lot of things we've been talking about uh, weekly, which is great. Um, had some great friends up here with us this week that also uh, own a business and they were um, pretty amazed at uh, the numbers and the stats that I was showing them uh, from our webpage that you guys get access to. Uh, that stuff is so much more important than you'd be. I mean, it's just, it's just amazing to have um, and seeing their reactions to some of the things that are on there and some of the the information that those those graphs were giving uh, even though that they're you know doing really really well in the business um, it, it's it's often hard to make sense of uh, what we hear on the news or uh, different channels when when not analyzing all of the data together uh, we can see it together in one place it really paints a much broader picture a uh, much easier picture of what's really happening um, that being said, um, we've got just a, an amazing amount of uh, business that's still being sold to hedge funds based on uh, the rent increases that are still continuing. Uh, people are starting to get a little worried about, hey, what's going to happen with these rental prices uh, because it's already becoming so unaffordable for most people uh, that have been renting in the past and where will people live? Uh, what's going to be affordable? Uh, new home builders, Rachel today, uh, it was yesterday, she, she mentioned to me, we know of a, a builder that's building these, you know, huge multi-million dollar homes on these properties. And she was like, why don't people put, you know, multifamily, like, like multifamily or, or, you know, affordable living. And it's just like, well, look at the numbers that these people are getting when they're building these multi-million dollar homes. Like, look at what, look at what they're able to get for them and, and the spread and how much money they're making. And it's just like, yeah, I guess that's, that's the answer, right? It's all, it's all about how much they're making. Um, but one interesting conversation I had this week, uh, met somebody that works uh, for Intel. And, you know, we've been talking about the semiconductor industry and what it's doing to the Valley and how that's going to be changing things. And he had a really interesting perspective being in that mix for as long as he had, just decades uh, being in that in that space. And he was talking about, um, you know, when we, we brought up the, the house, the, the cost of living, we brought up, um, you know, what things look like in the future. Uh, he gave us some some great insight as to what Intel is doing here in the Valley as well as overseas and how that ties into uh, TSMC coming in and, and building up, um, you know, their their plant. And he works on, on a different line that actually will uh, eventually support both, which is awesome. So he really had a really good insight as to the jobs that are coming and what's happening. And, you know, I point blanked him was just like, so so what's happening with housing and how's that going to affect you guys? And he was really candid about it. And he goes, Ed, he goes, like people that I work with, they're buying houses that are four times the value of what I paid for mine. And it's going it, to it is sil the next Silicon Valley. He goes, it's Silicon Valley. There's nothing going to change that with the amount of jobs that are being created here in the valley. It's not going to slow down. There are th going to be that many more jobs that are coming that are higher paying, that are just higher end jobs not only that but just more of them um so it's it's definitely we're on this precipice we're in this you know this this space where people are you know holding out and waiting for prices to collapse or prices to change and it's like you know what even with interest rates going up that's not changing anything this market is still just trudging along if you look at the numbers uh from last year to this year if you look at the active market for active properties on the MLS right now, we we just went under 4,000 again, similar to what we did at the same time last year. Um, yet, it seems like there's even more uh, more people looking, more investors buying. Um, if you look at how many people are paying over uh, fair market at that sweet spot of 300 to 400,000, it's even higher than it was last year. So we're still seeing that this market has 
has a lot of potential and a lot of stuff continuing to move forward. Um, I think this one, um, as we grow with, with management, um, that's something that as we have these conversations, if you have questions about what the market's doing, remember, it, I'm an interpreter and my job here when I bring these to you is to be the best interpreter in the valley for what's happening in real estate. I've got friends in lots and lots of places, lots of different markets, lots of different um, companies here in the valley, seeing what they're doing, asking them those questions and seeing how it's affecting them. And that's where I come up with a lot of this, this information. I'm looking at the data. I'm looking at the inf information. When somebody comes to you and tells you how they feel about the market, I, 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 sometimes disagree with those sentiments because it's not based on the data that we're looking at and how things are trending. So as we're paying attention to this market, like definitely keep tabs on that website. Look at those links. If if you have questions as to what's really happening, check those out because that's where I get my data from. Um, again, it's, it's a kind of a condensed version, but uh, you know, I want to make sure that as you're making these decisions, you're really getting the numbers. You're really seeing what is possible. Um, we had another property here in this last week that before we put it on the market, we have a, a graduating scale for selling the properties that we uh, manage. And, you know, we're really able to knock it out of the park with this owner instead of having to put all the money into it like we would to rehab it. There was an investor offer that came in that was grossly over what I thought it would retail for because, you know, when it comes to retail, we're still counting on appraised value. And when we're getting 15% over appraised value or what we think appraised value is going to be, that's a hard pill for, for a lot of buyers to swallow. So when an investor comes in, makes it that much more attractive, it really, it's, it, it just it changes the game uh, plus we make it a lot easier for owners to sell it that way as well um, you know if you have more questions about that let me know um, I think looking at this um, the trajectory of capstone moving forward and um, this was a milestone week for us um, tough week for us uh, we're you know limited in office I'm not just myself out of office but uh, we, we've had you know another person out um, we are uh, moving forward uh, we're hiring, um, we're bringing on just what we feel are just a, a level up of uh, people that we've had in the past. We're bringing on people who really believe in the culture, who really believe in what we're doing. Um, we want Capstone to be an educational platform for people to really give you the details as to what's happening. Not just your property management partner, but somebody who can look at this stuff through the eyes and the lens of someone who's actively investing and saying, hey, what does this market bring us right now? What is happening? Where are we investing? Where are you know those that, that we know investing? Where are we seeing the, the, the higher end investors, those that are these hedge funds that have so many more dollars than, you know, most of our clients, where are they investing? And, and where, you know, even with the, the numbers that they're getting, these lean, lean, lean numbers that I wouldn't generally recommend to any of our investors to buy, they're doing it. And it's, you know, again, it's hedging against inflation. It's, you know, getting cash flow from those properties. It's bringing in the dollars and they're investing for this market long term. Um, we did hit 500 doors this week, which is amazing. Um, we're super excited for that. And our goal over the next few years is to grow our door count um, substantially. Um, we are getting to the place now where we do have the systems in place. We are now just looking for those right people that can sit in those seats, that can offer the great level of service that you expect, and really, and just own the experience. Um, we want those people to be able to come in, um, to have, the ability themselves to create generational wealth for themselves, right? I want all my team to be buying real estate at some point. I want them all to be investing in real estate. I think that is that is where it's at, right? I believe in it that much. Um, I know what it's been able to provide for myself, the confidence that it's given me over the years of really just being able to make some of the decisions that I have. And I hope that for my team as well. Um, so, I, you know, looking forward, I think that this market still has a long way to go. Um, I think that with the amount of jobs, with the amount of what's happening in this market, this is the place to be. Um, I did go up to Lake Powell this weekend and saw the drastic 
um, reduction in water that they have there, which was which was alarming. I mean, honestly, it was it was just amazing um, how low the water level is there. And you know, I don't know what that looks like long term. I do know that Arizona is not in a similar situation to California or Nevada. Nevada is in really bad shape. I mean, it, you know. Vegas gets all of its water from there, whereas, you know, we only get a, a, a fraction. We get like 30% from from the Colorado. So looking at what that looks like for development long term, if you are reading the business journal, you'll see there are some huge players buying giant swaths of land throughout the outskirts of the Phoenix metro area, and they're going to be building, and that building will continue, and we're probably going to see for the next five years, we're going to see just a lot of new builds um, hitting the outskirts. So if you have properties that are in that central area, like that, you you are sitting in a, in a really good place right now. Um, I hope this message finds you doing well. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do send these out every Friday just to make sure you all know what's happening with the market, where our, where our head's at in this place as well. And uh, hopefully this prize some value to you. Thank you.